everyone, AG Dolls Down Under here. You're getting this wall instead of that wall today because my craft shelves are messy because I just got back from my holiday. Yay! So I was recently um, in Melbourne, uh, which is the eastern side of Australia. I'm from the western side um, because I went to the Eras tour because I'm a little swifty. Um, and while I was there, I purchased some AG related things um, and I just wanted to show off some stuff that I've made purchased and a new doll that I'm very excited to share with everyone. Um, you're catching me kind of frazzled as I start a new job today. Very excited. I'm channeling that nervous energy into making a video because I don't just want to sit all anxious ready to go. So uh, I'll start with showing you some stuff I made slash bought before my trip, then stuff I bought during, and then I'll save my very, very exciting doll till the end, because I'm the kind of evil person that will make you watch till the end. So, I'm going to first start with this coat I made from a Liberty, Liberty Jane pattern. So the, there are buttons there. Um, it is a super cute little pea coat that I made. Um, I've had this pattern in my stash for a while. I wasn't brave enough to do it. So here is me being brave, making a coat. It is fully lined with this cute little fashion plate fabric that makes me so happy. It's got little, little historical dresses on it. It's such a cute little coat. That lining is also under here. It's so cutesy. I really love this coat. I'm really proud of it. Um, I put it on my mini me and posted to my Instagram. So check that out. Uh, next up is, still got the tag on it because I haven't taken it off. Spotlight had this on clearance, so Spotlight is our like Michael's Joanne's craft store equivalent in Australia. Um, and I found this tiny claw clip, which is the perfect size for American Girl. Very excited to use this one. I'll take a cute little doll size claw clip for two bucks. Uh, next up is an Our Generation outfit that I've had my eye on for a little while. Um, this outfit is specifically for Billy, because she's my little skater girl. Um, it came with these little plastic shoes that I'm hoping to repaint. That might be another video where I'm going to give it a go. If anyone's repainted the rubber Our Generation shoes, please let me know. I'm a bit nervous to try it. Also want to swap out the laces. They're very yellow. It also came with a pair of black tights. I have some American Girl black tights I'll likely use instead. I also don't really think this outfit needs tights. <laughs> um, it came with these cute little spotty shorts. They're fun. They're cute. I wish they were just plain denim rather than spotty, but, you know, you get what you get, you don't get upset. Uh, it came with this little strappy beanie, which I'm really excited to use. Super fun. A nice plain basic black and white striped tee. I would be a little worried about the neck staining, but uh, most of my dolls are already stained, so I'll pop this outfit on the dolls that are already a little grubby. Um, and last but not least, the reason I bought this outfit a skateboard. Not a fan of the leopard print. I'm hoping to completely stick a bomb this outside with some stickers from my stash. I did pick up some while I was in Melbourne, but unfortunately I lost them. I'm so sad. Um, it was some cats from the Melbourne Cat Cafe. So next time I'm out and about, I'm going to keep an eye out for some stickers for this skateboard. I went to Daiso. Um, so I picked up this cute little um, miniature handbag that's a really great size for American Girl. It does say actual presumable on the side. I could probably take some acetone to it to take it off, or, whoa, just use this side. I really like the gold hardware. Um, it's made to fit a reusable cloth bag on the inside. Um, it just functions as a cute little bag. Yay! Next up is the stuff I bought while in Melbourne. Uh, while I was there, I went past a shop called Myers. I think they have Myers around the world. If not, it's just a department store. And they had a 18 inch doll brand, cool. Couldn't tell you what it's called, but they were on clearance. Um, and everything was usually like 30 to 40 bucks down to like five, seven, ten dollars. So I bought it. <laughs> the first outfit I got was this sweet little raincoat. Not entirely the fashion I usually dress my dolls in, but it'll look really cute on Robin, who's my Chrissa. Um, because she wears a lot of like cutesy, younger style clothes. I think this is going to be really cute on her. And she always looks good in red. Um, but the real reason I bought this outfit for a whole five dollars <laughs> was this pair of black boots. They have brown around the edges and brown on the sole. 
Um, I also would be a bit worried about these staining, so I'll likely only put them on dolls who are wearing socks um, or tights. But they're really, really cute little shoes. They're also a bit snug on the dolls, so I might end up having to slash into the back a little bit just to get their foot in. So that was outfit number one. Uh, I did buy a second outfit. Second outfit actually came with a pair of shoes you're going to see on the doll that I purchased. Um, but it also came with this silly little mermaid purse. I really just bought the outfit for the holographic shoes. They reminded me of Luciana's collection. Um, so now I have this. I don't really need this, <laughs> but I have it now. Uh, it also came with some cute little um, like butterfly style clips. This one's a little star. If the lighting's a bit odd in this video, we've been having rain in Western Australia, which is very different to the 40 degrees Celsius days we had a couple weeks ago. I'll take the rain, but it does mean my lighting's absolutely ruined. So I'm working with a tiny ring light, so lighting is a little odd in this video. Uh, and the last thing I bought from that clearance is really cool because it's a whole doll carrier. Like, whole carrier, a little window. If I open it up, it's got an elastic to put your doll in. I found that this is a bit loose for the dolls, but it still works. But what is most exciting is it's got this piece that folds out to put your doll clothes in. This is going to be so good when I go away or go on photo shoots. I think I could easily fit two dolls in this as well, um, if I don't have that many things to go with them. So I'm going to use this. This is awesome. Um, I do already have the tote doll carrier from American Girl brand. Um, but it doesn't protect their face or their hair, so this is going to be really good for my dolls with curly hair when I take them out on photo shoots. Um, while I was there, the most exciting thing, other than the Eras tour, and I'll do a little show off how you get my, these are all the friendship bracelets from my Eras tour adventure. If you're keen on seeing those, I can show them in another, vi another video. Um, but what I did do was connect with a American Girl collector who was selling pretty much everything she has. Uh, she was really, really lovely. Um, and it was great to meet someone and chat and talk about dolls. The things I bought from this collector were um, the old, I think it's the first day outfit. Um, so it's the one that comes with these uh, navy shoes. They are in this bag because they are absolutely shedding blue dust everywhere. <laughs> um, I'm gonna see what I can do to stop the shed because I really like these shoes. Um, I'm gonna try put some fabric medium over it and see if that seals it in. Um, if not, I have some gloss varnish as well. Um, yes, it might make the shoes harder to resell in the future, but I would prefer a pair of shoes I can use than a pair of shoes that are pristine. Just personally. Um, so first day outfit also comes with this cargo style skirt, which I love. Um, it's got the little red American Girl tag, the pockets are all functional, and it has a zip and velcro at the back, no snaps, no, um, uh, long velcro, it's all zip and that short little piece of velcro. I much prefer velcro over snaps, which is an unpopular opinion, but I find Velcro is less likely to come off over time, and I, even though I really like sewing and know how to sew, I hate sewing on buttons and snaps that come off things. It's really annoying. Um, next thing that it comes with is this stripy hoodie, um, and I vividly remember AG Smiles having this um, on her Instagram when she'd take photos of her new dolls in the Arizona desert. So I'm so happy to have this piece. Um, it's almost exclusively purchased for Miss Raven, my first doll, number 24. Um, this is going to be perfect for her. I think she's really going to like it. They're still in their Valentine's Day outfits. I'm going to need to change them. There will be another video, I'm sure. Um, and then last but not least, it comes with this vest, which I've been calling reversible because it's only got a teeny tiny tag. I don't know if it's supposed to be reversible, but I'm going to reverse it. <laughs> um, I love how it's red and then navy. Um, I think I prefer the navy side with the red poking through. Um, I think it looks better with the stripes of the uh, underneath jacket hoodie thing. Um, and the zip is functional on both sides, so I'm sure it is supposed to be reversible. I've been 
uh, in the process of buying this doll for a while. We did a payment plan and then um, I picked her up in person in Melbourne. Um, so let me show you these shoes. They're a little grubby, um, but that's okay. They're likely not going to be worn unless I decide to do photo shoots in her meat outfit. Let me get my face out of there. It comes with this green t-shirt. Such a good staple piece. I love putting my dolls in green. These capri pants shorts with a pretty green design. Turns out, I'd always thought this made outfit had embroidery. That's just a, like a, a transfer. That's not stitched into the fabric. It's just a print. Strange. Um, and last but not least, this piece does need a little bit of repair. One of my buttons is starting to come off. Um, as I said, I hate tall, close or tiny buttons because you always have to repair them. Um, but this is the last piece of the meat outfit. And if you are a fan of American Girl and have been for a while and know about some dolls that are really hard to find, you'll know whose meat outfit that is. Let me show her to you. The fact that I own this doll is wild to me. This is my Sonali Matthews doll. Ah! <laughs> um, I own a Sonali. Ah! Um, so not only do I own a Sonali, I own a Sonali that I purchased from her first owner who bought her brand new in 2009. Ah! She was a collector, so she's only ever been displayed and I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to ever brush through her hair because like it had the new doll shed like you know when you brush a doll for the first time and a bit of hair comes off not a lot nothing to be like worried about but she had that um and yes her hair still has her like ringlets like this is me just finger curling her hair I haven't done anything special I haven't put it in rollers when I was traveling with her I did have her in a rope braid because I was worried about her curls getting Tangled, like, I feel like I've never seen a Sonali with this curly hair, but I think it must just be because, like, a lot of people have Sonalis that are second hand or Sonalis that have been to the doll hospital and maybe they've changed her wig since her release in 2000. And like, I'm shooketh. Her, like, just look at that ringlet. Since when does Sonali have perfect ringlets? <laughs> like, I picked, I held her in person and, like, I know what Sonali looks like. I've been coveting this doll since forever. Um, and I just kind of held her and it was wild to see what she looks like in person as someone who's never seen a Sonali in person. She's like a unicorn. She's so hard to find. Um, I'm just like, I own this doll. Wow. <laughs> I believe. And these are the shoes I was talking about, the little holographic flats. Pretty good for two bucks. I'll take it. Um, so this is Nali, or well, Sonali, but um, as a longtime viewer of Basil Mentos, her name is Nali. Um, and in typical longtime viewer of Basil Mentos fashion, she's like my little fashiony girly. She's always wearing something stylish. Um, I'm not sure what her personality is or where she fits in the um, dynamics of my doll family not family doll, dorm mates. Um, I think she's my fashion girly, um, and I'll go over this in a separate video, but all of my dolls have like a college major that they're studying, and they all um, are members of Inner Star U uh, dorm building. So that's how my dolls will know each other and their personalities. Um, so I have to figure out what her major is. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I, yeah, I'm not sure yet. And I cannot believe that she's currently in my hands. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. If you did like it, yeah, comment down below. See you in the next one.